God bless you indeed, everybody. Good morning. Um, this is your brother Pablo just bringing another word out here to you. Um, you know, in, in the book of Mark, chapter 8, verse 18, Jesus talked, asked the disciples, What? You have eyes to see and don't see, and ears to hear and you don't hear. What? You still don't understand. How many of us sometimes we know? That Jesus is speaking to us. Jesus is speaking to our hearts. But we have selective hearing. We don't really want to hear what the Lord is saying. So at times we brush it off and we say, you know, get thee behind me, Satan. We rebuke the devil. Because perhaps what the Lord is saying is not what we want to hear. Or what we feel comfortable hearing. And then, you know, the logic comes in, God don't speak that way, that is not the Lord, etc. So, we as children of God need to have eyes to see and ears to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. You have, we have physical eyes, but we also have the eyes of the Spirit, where you can see in the Spirit realm, where you can see angels, where you can see what God is showing you in the invisible realm. So my prayer for you today is that from today, you will have eyes to see that are activated and ears to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. In the name of Jesus, Father, thank you, Lord, for giving your people eyes to see and ears to hear what your Holy Spirit is saying. Father, we thank you, Lord that you will guide them, you will teach them, and you will train them. You will activate them through your beautiful Holy Spirit. Spirit of the living God, according to the book of Revelation, pour now eye salva upon the eyes of your children. Remove those scales so that they can see and hear their Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for their own selves. You know, it is good when you... And go to someone and, you know, a person in the body of Christ and say, pray with me. What is the Lord saying on my situation? But the same way that person has the ability to hear the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus wants you to hear him also for yourself. That person has the calling. They have that ability. But so do you as a child of God. The veil has been rent and you can come boldly before the throne of mercy and grace and receive from the Lord Jesus Christ yourself god bless you today and i know that your eyes will begin to see and your ears will begin to hear on a deeper and a more intimate level god bless you shalom bye bye